Uh, hey guys, this is Michael with Quiet Lawn. I just wanted to make a short video showing you how we prep mulch beds. You know, we take a lot of pride in our mulch work uh, and it's actually, it's a, a lot of hard work, but it's actually a very small amount of tools that you need to be able to do it. And it makes a huge difference over somebody who doesn't put the time in to do a good quality job. So as far as prepping your mulch beds, really the only thing you need would be a hard rake one of these half moon blade, these edgers, bed edgers, that's what we use. Uh, you can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, there are other styles, but this is the one we prefer. And a good flat shovel. So I've kind of prepped a little area here at our shop with the edge, uh, and I'm gonna show you how we do the rest. First off, what we'd do, if we were gonna mulch this project, we would come in here and we would remove, if they had pine straw or something they wanted to put down mulch, First, we would remove that pine straw. Uh, then we would go through and we would spray a weed killer to spray anything in the, uh, in the beds that needed to be sprayed. Uh, and after that, we would begin our prep, uh, which first thing I would use is this half moon edger. And I'm gonna go ahead and start edging my beds. Maybe they have an existing curve on their beds. Maybe you're establishing a new bed or redefining an existing edge. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this half moon edger and I'm going to go around here and define my line for my bed. So these are obviously really ugly beds. This is just a little part of our shop here. So this obviously isn't what you know our customer beds look like, uh, but this is just to give you an idea. Once I do this, I establish my line. I'm going to go through here and kind of clean it up, fix my curve. And I'm going to take my foot and kind of kick the material back into the bed. Now, if you're in an area, if you have loamy, sandy soil that is very loose, you might very well just be able to toss everything up into the bed and be ready for mulch. But where we are, at least, uh, we have a lot of hard clay. And it takes a lot of work to dig the edges on these beds. So typically, what I'll do is I'll get that vertical edge cut with an edger and then I'll go back in here with my flat shovel uh, I've got the outside edge uh, shaped now I'm gonna go in here with a flat shovel and I'm gonna shape the slope of the inside of my bed so I'll take this flat shovel and start digging out that slope inside the bed And digging everything out here and what I want to do is I want to create a trough where the mulch won't be able to fill up that void so the the slope of the bed is going to go down and then kind of flatten out and then I've got my vertical surface so that's what I'm doing with the shovel here toss this up in there once I get my slope shape where it's not too where it's not so steep that my mulch just fills up that whole edge uh, it's nice shallow kind of gradual slope up into the bed then i'm going to take my hand or my hard rake and i'm going to start smoothing out the rest of the bed okay, smoothing everything out working my way along gradually in the bed raking out all that material that i dug out of the edge and it's really important you want your uh you want your beds to be as smooth as possible before you do your mulch because if your beds are nice and smooth, it's going to make it much easier to get your mulch nice and smooth. So you can see I'm kind of working along here. If you have to bust up clumps of clay, go ahead and bust them up. But I want to have a nice, smooth, flat surface. So if you look closely here, you know, like I said, this isn't a beautiful bed by any means. I'm just doing this really quickly in about five or ten minutes. But you can kind of see the look we're going for here. Next step is we're going to go ahead and lay our mulch. And I'm going to show you the new way we're doing that this year that is much faster, much more efficient, much easier. Um, so uh, really, like I said, you only need a hard rake, an edger, and a flat shovel. Uh, and that's really all you need to uh, prep your beds. Hey, guys, I just wanted to show one more thing because it really took me years to... Uh, understand the proper shape of the edge that we were digging uh, and I did it wrong and it took me uh, you know it took me several tries to actually refine it 
and get it to where we have an edge that actually holds up and does what we want it to. Um, so I'm going to show you the, the way, the shape of your edge, uh, how it should be when you finish. The proper way is when you dig your edge, this is, imagine this is your grass. This is your vertical edge that you're digging with that half moon edger or spade shovel, whatever you're using. Uh, and this is our mulch coming up into this bed. We want to have this trough right here. Uh, and I didn't have that in the beginning and I'll show you what happens. So before I would dig this vertical edge. And then I would kind of shape this with a shovel and I would have it coming down to a point uh, right here where the vertical edge starts. And what happens when you put your mulch in here? So when you put your mulch in here, what happens is your mulch eventually falls down into that edge and it fills up that edge. And then your mulch is all the way up here to the top. There's really no point in having an edge because you can't see it and you end up slinging it everywhere when you go to do your soft edging, your, you know, your vertical edging on the beds. So that's what happened. And like I said, you get a good rain or whatever, uh, and that mulch just fills up that bed. So a couple of things you did wrong here is one, you didn't have a trough. And two, sometimes we tend to make, we shape the bed too steeply and the mulch just kind of, you know, falls off into, and to fill up that, uh, that edge there. Um, how you want to do it is you want to have a trough here at the bottom and then a nice gradual, climb up into your bed so that nothing's real steep here that the mulch just falls off of it um, and what happens is your mulch put your mulch in the bed and even if some of it falls down it still falls down to the edge right there so you end up getting your mulch here but you still have this nice you know two three four inches uh, vertical edge face uh, before you get to the mulch. It makes it nice and easy when you go to trim, when you string trim and clean that up and it keeps your mulch from filling up that edge. Um, so that's how you want your edge to be shaped right there. Hello everyone, this is Michael with Quiet Lawn. If you'd like advice, information, or tips about taking care of your lawn or landscape, please follow us.